Hi there, and welcome back to Everyday Objects at NASA Everyday Speeds. I'm Stuart Lawrence, I'm a professor in aerospace engineering here at the University of Maryland. And in this series, we're taking normal looking everyday objects, putting them in our hypersonic wind tunnel here, and seeing just how well they fly at hypersonic speeds, which is to say really, really fast. So just how fast? Well, if you were to get in a hypersonic aircraft and take off in New York, you could be landing in Los Angeles about an hour later. And that compares with about six hours for a normal aircraft, so that's pretty fast. So in this episode, we're going to be continuing the aquatic animal theme of our previous episode. Um, and this choice of everyday object was inspired by my three-year-old daughter, Johanna, who's always asking me to play her the rubber ducky song from Sesame Street. So we're going to be taking this little rubber ducky here, we're going to be putting her in the wind tunnel, and we're going to be seeing just how well she can fly at Mark 6. All right, so here's our little ducky hanging happily in the wind tunnel, suspended from the roof by a couple of threads. And now the flow arrives and, oh, those threads didn't really break off as cleanly as we might have liked. But let's see if she can fly all the same. We do see a nice shockwave form in front of her, and in fact, there are two shockwaves. One generated by her body, here, and the other by her head, here. And they intersect in what's known as a shock-shock interaction. Now, she continues to move back in the tunnel, but, hmm, unlike Turpy, she doesn't seem to be able to find a nice stable position as she flies and she continues rotating with what's called a pitching motion. And we see she's still rotating as she leaves the field of view. Well, that didn't go so well, did it? Well, maybe this little ducky should stay in the bathtub after all. Okay, so thanks again for joining us. And as a reminder, if you have an object you'd like to see tested at hypersonic speeds, um, please email us at hypersonic-everyday-objects at gmail.com and don't forget to tell us why you think it would be interesting. So, see you next time.